That's so satisfying. Uh oh. That's it. I need to chop my finger off. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. Today's video is a really exciting one because as you guys can tell by the title, I have another testing Instagram ads kind of video. I have actually done a few videos like this on my channel already in the last couple of months. So if you guys haven't seen them, I'll link them in the eye. But if you're new here and you don't know what this video is about, basically what I do is I go on my Instagram and any advert that I get throughout a week, I will pretty much have to purchase. This of course literally means that I have to sit on my Instagram and pretty much wait for an advert to pop up and that's exactly what I did. I always have so much fun trying out these Instagram adverts because a lot of the time they are things that I kind of have interest in already. I guess that's what these Instagram ads are about. They kind of tailor it to the person that's seeing them, of course. I'm pretty sure they definitely tap into like your Google searches and everything, which is a little bit scary, but nonetheless, I'm really excited to see what I picked up. In this video, I'm gonna be trying five different various adverts that I purchased through Instagram and I guess we'll see what it's all about. If you guys are brand new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy. Welcome to my channel. If you guys want to stick around, make sure you guys subscribe down below. Also, if you guys didn't know, I do actually have a joint vlogging channel with my fiance, Matt, which is called Roxy and Matt. If you guys haven't subscribed to that already, make sure you do because we post a lot of cool vlogs on there. On that channel, we recently flipped a whole house and we documented the whole process. So if you guys are interested in like homeware things and renovations, make sure you guys check that out. But anyways, I guess you guys want to see what these Instagram ads are that I picked up. So without further ado, let's get on into the video. Okay, so the very first ad that popped up for me on Monday actually was this one right here. I'm just looking back on my phone to refer to it, but it's called True Vintage and this was a sponsored post. By the way, let me know below in the comments if you guys get any of these ads yourself. I feel like they're quite popular because they do get quite a lot of likes. But yeah, the first one was this. It's called True Vintage Louis V Mono Ring. So when I first saw this on Monday, I was like, as if, just my luck, I get like the most expensive ad I could possibly get for like designer jewelry, which I definitely don't want to buy. But when I clicked on it, I realized that these were actually knockoffs. So obviously these are not real Louis Vuitton. They're not dual. They're not Chanel. And to be honest, part of me was definitely relieved. I was like, thank God I don't have to like fork out thousands of pounds on this video. Anyway, so this brand right here is actually a clothing brand. But the thing that came up for me on the ad was of course their jewelry. So that's what I purchased from them. As I went to browse their ring section, I realized realized that their prices were actually pretty affordable. So the ring that is advertised is only £28.99. It comes in eight different sizes and I think you can get them in like different colors as well. I went for the gold because of course I love my gold as you guys can tell. Anyways, I should probably actually show you the product. So this is how it came. It's just in a little silver kind of envelope. It says True Vintage on it. This package actually came fairly quickly. I think it was literally like less than a week. Okay, so here it is. This is what came inside. Oh my God, that smell takes me back to when I was a kid and like I would smell books because they smelled nice. <laughs> Is that just me? Am I weird? I used to smell books. Anyway, so it came with a little leaflet and this is what it looks like. Oh, it's right here. Aww. The bubbles aren't even popping. I literally love bubble wrap. Like leave me with a roll of bubble wrap and I'll be entertained for hours. <sighs> That's so satisfying. Oh my God. Love it. Okay, so here are the two individual rings. They come separately. The first one is the Louis Vuitton one. Now, I literally measured my finger in centimeters. That's what it said on the website to do. And I'm hoping this is gonna fit. It actually looks kind of small. I'm gonna show you guys up close in a sec. It actually looks pretty sick. Like that looks legit. All the Louis Vuitton like indentations are in the ring and it looks cute. Now, personally, I don't really wear a lot of rings. I only really wear my engagement ring, but I'm looking to like expand my jewelry collection and I want to wear more rings. The thing about my fingers is that my knuckles are huge, but like my actual finger is pretty skinny. So I might have to lubricate this to actually go on. I guess let's try my ring finger. Oh, that's actually okay. It's a little bit loose, but I think that's like, that's fine. That is really cute. The only thing is, it's really wide, like, I feel like I can't close my fingers. Like, I can't put my fingers together because this ring is really in the way. Look how wonky it is. It's just not, 
It's really uncomfortable. Oh, why? Why does this always happen to me? I can never find a ring that fits me well and is comfortable. Maybe I need to try it on another finger, like my index finger. Oh God, that's real tight. Am I gonna get that off? Okay, I feel like that's better. I actually have space for like the ring on either side. It's not being squashed between my fingers, but my finger is definitely losing circulation right now. So I should probably get it off. Oh. Uh oh. Okay, this is not good. I know that I'm very irrational, but like as soon as something like this happens, I go into panic mode and I just, I need it off. Oh my God. That's it. I need to chop my finger off. Oh my God, I can't get this off. Help. Oh. Ah. Okay, I got it off. Jesus Christ, that's a death trap. I like the ring. It's not the right size. I think I need to get a size up. Um, but that's just my, that's my fault really. It is a cute ring though. And for $28.99, I would say it's worth it. Okay guys, so the next ad that I got on Tuesday was actually for a brand called Chic Me, which is a clothing brand. I'm not too sure why, but that name, it definitely rings a bell to me. I feel like it's one of those brands under the same umbrella as like Shein and Zaffle. And this is the ad that specifically popped up for me that day. It was of this really nice satin kind of dress. You guys know me, you'll know that I love like blush pink, nude, those kinds of like really soft pastel colors. So as soon as I saw that ad, I was like, yep, that is so me, I need to get this. So here is what came. This is the packaging for the brand. And to be honest, yeah, this definitely rings a bell. Anyways, this is the dress. I think this was like 20 or 30 pounds, somewhere around that price point. First of all, the quality feels really nice. It's made of like this satin kind of fabric. And this is the dress. That is actually really cute. It is hella creased. So ignore that, but honestly, I actually really, really like it. The dress is a v-neck and it's got these tiny little buttons all the way down. I really, really love the design. I won't lie, the actual fabric of this is quite thin because it's that like satin kind of fabric, but that's exactly what I expected anyway. I got this in a size S and I'm not too sure if they had different colors, but this is the one that popped up in the ad. So of course I had to get this one. But yeah, I guess without further ado, let's try this on and see how it fits. All right guys, so here's the dress and what it looks like on. I've got to say, I'm actually actually really really liking it. I love the fact that it's actually super cinched in at the waist just like it was in the photo. I think the reason why it's super cinched in is because it actually has two straps on either side of the dress that you can kind of tie in at the back yourself. So of course you can pull it in as tight as you like and I feel like that's what really gives it that super like cinched in silhouette. In terms of the quality I have to say I'm super impressed considering this dress it did not cost much at all. The actual satin is such a nice fabric to the touch and it's not see-through whatsoever. Of course, if you were to wear this dress out, you probably would wanna like iron it or steam it. I think steaming might possibly be a better option for this type of dress as it is kind of like a satin fabric. Overall, I am really, really impressed with the quality and the look of the dress. I feel like it looks exactly like the photo, so I'm giving this a massive thumbs up. Okay, so on Wednesday, I actually got an ad that I've been meaning to try for a long time. To be honest, I haven't actually actively searched for brands like this on social media or the internet at all, so the fact that this popped up for me was literally by off chance. But it's definitely something I wanted to try because I've seen it quite a bit on TikTok and that is this. It's called the Nourished Vitamins. It's personalized and 3D printed. So as you guys can see, these are basically just personalized vitamins that are kind of like an edible form. These are pretty much like layered sweets with like sugar coating. And honestly, I love vitamins like this. So I really wanted to give it a try. I think it's really cool that these are vegan. So that's why I was really excited to try them. So when I got this ad pop up on my Instagram, I went on the website and what it says to do is fill out this short little quiz to basically just find out what kind of vitamins you want in your little suite. So I actually got a supply for like a whole month in here and I'm really excited to see what it will be like. They just come in little pouches like this. This is it. Oh wow, look at that. This is what it looks like. How freaking cute is it? Also, this is covered in sugar. I love sweets, so I just had to get that option, but you can have it without sugar as well. I guess we're gonna have to give it a try. I hope it tastes nice. Let's do it. It tastes like a sweet, but not like um 
like a sweet you'd buy at the store. The texture is really interesting. It's like really soft. I can't believe these are 3D printed. That is so cool. This is what it looks like on the inside when you take a bite. It's just like multi-layered all the way throughout. I really love this idea. Honestly, if you're not good at taking vitamin pills, then I feel like this is a good alternative. Now that I've had that whole thing, I actually feel like it was quite sickly, even though it was such a tiny amount, but I feel like the sugar, just made it so sickly. Honestly, I feel like that's my sugar content done for the day. I don't think I can have anything else sugary now. But yeah, this was my ad for Tuesday. I'm actually really glad that I picked it up. I think it's really interesting and I will definitely give it a go for like the whole month and see if I can see any differences. In my quiz, I did say that I wanted to be less tired and fatigued. So I guess we'll see if that improves after having these. Okay, now moving on to Thursday. The next ad that I got was for this thing right here. Now I'll pop the ad on screen so you guys can see. It was basically for this sort of like Perspex LED lamp. I love the look of it and actually they had my favorite anime character. So of course I had to get it. I'm so excited to unbox this. They had a load of different characters. Honestly, I love anything that's like mood slash lighting related. I just feel like it adds so much to a room and I absolutely love having things like this in my streaming room. If you guys didn't know, I actually stream on Twitch occasionally. So I feel like this will go perfectly in my streaming room slash office. So let's open it up. Ooh, okay. So first up, we've got the actual, um, like perspex lamp. It's just a really thin layer. Oh my God. I love it. Wait, can you guys see what it is? Look, it's like Yagami from Death Note. I love it. They did actually have L as well. If you guys are familiar with Death Note, it's like my favorite anime since the beginning of time. I'm pretty sure they did actually have Misa and L as well, but I went for light because, well, I feel like the shape of him was just the most distinctive. Like as soon as you see this, you definitely know who it is. So I thought I would go for him. So it's actually covered with this protective layer, which I'm just gonna rip off. Okay, I've peeled the protective film off. I feel like it's really hard to show what it looks like because it's literally clear, but this is it. I love it so much. I feel like this is the kind of thing that people have been doing on TikTok. They've been like making their own glass paintings. So yeah, basically that's the lamp. It then comes with a base for it and also a remote. Okay, so batteries are in. I've got my remote. Let's turn it on and see if it works. Oh my god! Wow! It has different colors as well. I didn't even know that. Oh my god, that's so cool. Hang on. There's like different options on the remote. Let's try it. Oh wow! Look! It's like fading into different colors. Oh my god, I love that. Honestly, I feel like this is one of the coolest things I've purchased from an Instagram ad. This is so sick. I love it. I literally need to get one in every character I know. Also, if you want to, you can actually set it to whatever color you want. So if you want blue or orange or red, and they actually have like different shades as well. I am honestly so happy with this. I feel like this was only about 20 pounds, maybe even lower than that. I think it was like 15. But yeah, I really, really love this. I'm so glad I purchased it. I feel like Instagram is doing really well with their ads. They're like definitely tailored to me. And now on Friday, the very last ad that I got for this video was from a brand called J Lux Label. This is actually a brand I've never heard of. I feel like this is one of those Instagram brands. And from this brand, what I saw was this sponsored post. I felt like it was just so unique. I just really, really was drawn to it because I felt like it was very different. This piece of clothing right here is kind of like a see-through trench coat. And honestly, it's not really my vibe. Like I probably wouldn't buy this any other time. However, when I saw it on Instagram, I was like, do you know what? It's really different. It's really interesting. I want to try it. So I got it. And I think this was, again, not too expensive. I think it must have been about 30 pounds. I feel like this item of clothing is more for the aesthetic. It's definitely not to keep you warm at all. Oh my God. This is literally like one of those coats I purchased from ASOS one time in one of my weird ASOS clothing items video. Oh my goodness. It is literally a sheer trench coat. I kind of love it. I never thought I would like something like this, but it feels so nice. Like the actual fabric, whatever this is, it feels really soft. It is literally so lightweight. It does not weigh a thing, but I kind of love it. I don't know what it is about it. As you guys can see, it's like double breasted. It's got two rows of buttons, which I think is so cool. It's actually quite a long coat. And guess what? Even though it's sheer, 
it's still got pockets. Like, what the hell? I kind of love this. I can't wait to try this on. Honestly, I don't even know how I would style this, but let's pop it on and see how it looks. All right, guys, and here is the see-through trench coat. I honestly don't know how I feel about this now that I've got it on. Just so you guys know, I'm not naked under here. I do actually have a nude kind of two-piece just because I wanted to keep it quite neutral under here. I felt like any clothing that would be colored underneath this would just kind of distract it too much and I really wanted it to be all about the coat. So here it is. Honestly, it is quite uncomfortable now that I've got it on. It is super itchy, especially around my neck, which is definitely a big shame because I think it's so cool. I literally love it. I'm just gonna do it up for you guys so you can see the full effect. I feel like this is something that maybe you would see like Kim Kardashian or Kylie Jenner wear. This is giving me very much like Yeezy vibes. So this is the full look. Like I said, this coat literally has no purpose apart from the aesthetics. So does it look good? What are we thinking? Now I'm not too sure what the like metal little prong is called in a belt, but it hasn't got one of them. So it hasn't really got anything to like grip onto and keep its tightness. So I'm gonna try and like weave it through the buckle once again just to see if that makes a difference. Oh, actually, that works a little bit better if you weave it through again, but it's still not really that tight. I think what I'm really interested in is whether the pockets actually work. Like, are they big enough? How will it even look if I've got something in my pocket? So I've just got my phone. Let's see if it will fit. Oh, it does actually fit. Okay, that is definitely like pulling a lot on this side and I feel like the coat just doesn't have enough strength to like keep its shape. This belt is actually coming undone as we speak because of the weight of my phone. So I don't really think that they're practical pockets as such. But either way, it's better that they have some rather than not. So this is the jacket, honestly. I don't really know whether I'm gonna keep it. I think it's really interesting, but it's not really my cup of tea. I feel like I actually wouldn't really have anywhere to wear something like this. So I'm gonna have to give this a miss. All right guys, so that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what kind of ads I purchased off of Instagram. I feel like a lot of the time when you see these ads, you probably think, is this a scam? Is this even a real thing? But I'm here to tell you these ads are actually legit. There's actual real businesses behind them. And I feel like they are definitely tailored to my personality and the things that I like, which at the start, I feel like when I did my first video trying Instagram ads was not the case. They literally just recommended such random things to me at the start. I have to say, I'm actually really, really happy with everything that I got and I'm very, very surprised at like how good the quality is of everything, even though it wasn't expensive. Let me know below in the comments which one of these items was your favorite. I feel like my favorite thing from today's video is probably the Death Note lamp. I just feel like my internal 16 year old is screaming right now. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below. Be sure to subscribe as well. I would love to have you here. But anyways, that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.